As you can see, the girls are all lined up. The line is very long, and girls come from all over to become a Los Angeles Laker girl. Hi, my name is Kelsey, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Chicago, Illinois. New Orleans, Louisiana. And I'm here from London. Ever since I was little, I've always been a dancer, and I've always looked up to this team. When I was three years old, I started ballet. I started dancing in diapers. I've always, I've always wanted to move. I tried out last year and almost made it to finals, but didn't get quite there. So I came back this year hoping to make it. We're about to start with the first round, which is an across-the-floor combination, where the girls show us their dance technique. This year, I'm really looking for a squad that's energetic, dynamic, and passionate. So we just got through the first round. It was really fun, and I got my number. I'm really excited. These are the girls who just made it past the first round. They're now getting their number, which they'll wear, and they can identify themselves to the judges for the rest of the day. I started dancing at four and a half, and I started competing at five. It's kind of just been a dream of mine since I was a kid, you know, dancing in my studio. You're going to twist three, twist four. For round two, this is the first round of dance combinations. And the dance I taught them was really jazzy. It was a novelty routine with a lot of character. We got to perform in groups of three, and that also went really well. We had to like show energy and also technique and just show what we got, and hopefully that's good enough to make the next round. What's going through my mind mostly is just stay calm, you've got this, and just hoping for the best. I'm really excited to see if my number gets called, number 130. <laughs> And these are the numbers moving on to the next round. I made it past the second round, so I'm pretty proud of myself right now. I had no idea I was going to make it past the first round, the second round, so I'm just really excited. The girls are about to start their third round. It's getting cutthroat, so let's take a look. Five and six and seven and eight. Back. For round three, this is the second dance combination round. This time, the dance I taught them was a little bit more hip-hop. At Staples Center, I need to see that they're able to project their energy for the fans and engage them by having fun. This round is a lot more intimidating. I feel a little more confident in the other ones. Not really much of a hip-hop dancer, but I did my best in that style, so we'll see. <laughs> I think this round was different because it was a lot quicker. So we learned really fast. You just have to stay focused the entire time. You can't focus on the other girls or compare yourself to anyone. You just have to, you know, stay in the game. I made it, so I was just, it's, it's a blessing right now, and I'm just taking it and trying to live in the moment. Now it's time for the final round of the day. It's time to meet the judges. Hi everyone, my name is Savannah and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. For the final round of the day, the girls have danced and at this point, really anyone could make the team. So what we like to do is have them come up to the table, address the judges. So we all lined up in numerical order and say the basic thing, your name, your number, where you're from, and why you want to be a Laker girl. Being a Laker girl is more than just a dancer. You are to be the advocate. I actually had two dance teachers that were Laker girls. I would love to return to the Lakers for a second season because this year has truly been the best year of my life. We will go um, take a look at the scores and tally these up and then come out and make the announcement. Out of the 250 participants that came this morning, we ended up with 36 finalists. When my number was called that I made the finals, I was so excited, so shocked, and feel so blessed to be here right now. I'm going to show the judges that I deserve a spot on the team, and I think that would be a great asset to the Lakers. The girls have spent the last few days in one-on-one -on -one interviews, and now we're here at the final round. This is it. Tonight we held the final dance callback. All of our finalists came and performed the two routines that they learned at the open call. They've had a few days to practice. They've had the material, they've had the music. So if they don't come in tonight looking stronger and with a bigger performance than they did on Sunday, that might tell me that they're not really committed to making this team. So I basically have been dancing since I was an embryo, kind of. My mom said that I used to kick a lot when I was in her stomach. So I used to do ballet, tap, jazz, lyrical, contemporary, cheer. I've been dancing all my life, and so this is just me continuing to follow my dreams and do exactly what I love, which is to dance. Thank you. Thank you. Each finalist will receive a phone call, letting them know whether or not they've been selected for the team. If I did get that call, I hope I do. <laughs> it would be the most amazing thing in the world. The final step of the audition process is notifying the finalists of whether or not they've been selected to be a part of the 2017-2018 Laker Girls. 
The night we take our team photo is the first time all the girls will be together in uniform as a team. So it's always really exciting and one of my favorite times of the season. One, two, three. Well, tonight we're at the Lakers Training Center and we are doing the Laker girls group photo for the year and their individual photos. I'm really excited about shooting this group of Laker girls because there's so many new girls on the squad. Fresh building, fresh start, new squad, uh, new look, and I'm really happy to do it. This is our first day as a team, being all in our uniforms. Everyone looks so great and we're excited to be here at the photo shoot today. such a surreal experience when you put on the boots and they're brand new, shiny, and you put on the uniform, you really truly start to feel and embody what it means to be a Laker girl and what that legacy brings.